The last few weeks, thousands of students across the nation have graduated from nursing programs newly prepared to fight the coronavirus. 98 graduated this month from the DMAC program. None of them even considered a pandemic when they first started school. But KCCI's Kayla James talked with one new graduate who's ready to do her part. What started as a dream to achieve in high school? That's when I got my certification to be able to work in a hospital. Became a reality this December for Kyla Cazette when she and nearly 100 others graduated from DMAC's nursing program during a time health care providers across the country are battling the coronavirus. If anything, you know, this is the time when they need nurses even more. The number of licensed nurses working in Iowa has increased steadily over the last four years, with more than 51,000 employed in the state at the time of the Iowa Board of Nursing's most recent account in June. We see COVID patients every single day. Cazette currently works as an ER patient care tech. She's already seen her fair share of what the pandemic can do as patients come through the doors. I never know from the ER you know, what happens to them after that. Um, so I think about those people and, you know, their hardships and then their families. Cazette says when the pandemic hit, the DMAC program's curriculum continued, but with an emphasis on patient education due to the virus. That's a huge thing. You know, people take this virus lightly. And so being able to properly educate people is huge. Education, patience, positivity. We're all in this together and we are going to get through it. And the sense of togetherness. All are what Cazette hopes she can bring to the table now and beyond. And when asked if the pandemic ever caused her to question if nursing is a profession for her. I think my passion for nursing has actually increased since the pandemic all began. Kyla Cazette responds without hesitation. Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.